What's up everybody? It's me, Dead Center, coming to you again with another Heroes How To video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Vala. Uh, she's a demon hunter from Diablo 3. Um, when I first started playing, I tried her. I couldn't get her. I just couldn't understand it, couldn't click. Uh, and then up here a couple months ago, um, I picked her up and I really have just fallen in love with her. And I've fallen in love with her Q build, all based around her hungering hero. Um, so she is one of the few AD carries, I would say that's more of a League of Legends or Dota term. Uh, but she is just a, a fountain of damage, if you will. Um, she's got great auto attacks, and then her kit I think is fantastic, and that's where we'll go next. So for starters, her passive trait is Hatred. Um, for each basic attack she gets, she gets one stack of Hatred, all the way up to 10. Um, each hatred stack increases her basic attack damage by 8% and movement speed by 1%. Um, so, uh, uh, and every time, once you get up to 10, each basic attack just refreshes the cooldown. I think it takes two seconds to, I don't know, maybe, maybe like five seconds to wear off and then you lose your hatred stacks. Um, but the idea is basic, just be basic attacking all the time. The longer you can chain them, the more powerful your basic attacks are. Um, and to her, her abilities, Hungering Arrow um, is the main ability that we're going to be focused on. Costs 60 mana, 10 second cooldown. Fires an arrow that deals 151 damage to the first target. Then seeks up to two more additional enemies with 86 damage. So it's a straight line skill shot. You hit one person and it kind of loops around. And, and will either hit them two more times or hit another uh, uh, person close by. Um, this is minions, mercenaries, all that sort of stuff. Multi-shot, simple cone of damage out in front of you. Vault, um, vault similar to Leeming, if you watched my last video, Leeming, that short range teleport. Vault's a little bit longer, um, just you can use it to get away, use it to relocate yourself, use it to be aggressive. Uh, but then the added thing on her vault is the next basic attack you do within two seconds does an increase 6% damage per hatred stack so that's maximum 60 damage if you're at max stacks um, we'll get into our ultimates here in a second um, so the build I go again is going to be focused on that Q that hungering arrow um, level 1 monster hunter the main reason why I take this is the 40% mana reduction um, brings it from 60 down to 20 this build is very mana hungry um, and this just helps along the way since that's going to be the move that we're chaining out most often or throwing out most often and then an added benefit uh your your hungering arrows do 150 percent damage to any minions mercenaries or monsters minions and lanes mercenaries that you're killing so that they push a lane for you uh and then monsters are any of the extra npcs on a map so garden terror uh the little guys that spawn at night or infernal shrines the guys in the pit um you just do bonus damage to them Level 4, Puncturing Arrow. This is a quest talent. For every enemy hero that you hit, um, and only the first hit counts, it can't chain into an enemy hero, uh, but every enemy hero you hit increases its damage by 5, up to 10, so that's 20 stacks total, and then once you get those 20 stacks, you get an additional 75% damage, and the arrow bounces one more time. Um, so again, just rewards you for, for con uh, connecting with those cues and increasing your damage. Um, level 7, I go Repeating Arrow makes it to where your vault refreshes the repeating arrow so you you queue into somebody with the arrow vault relocate yourself or or you know get even closer to them and then another arrow um right after it one of the main reasons why this build is so hung uh, uh mana hungry level 10 i go reign of vigilance strafe is all right but me personally i like having the cc uh, I like having the extra damage. This is really nice because I don't usually look to initiate fights often with this, um, but I really look to follow up with anybody else's CC. If Stitches pull somebody in, Reign of Vengeance right on top of it. Um, or Arthas roots a group of people, Reign of Vengeance right on top of them. Level 13, Siphoning Arrow, makes it to where your Hungering Arrow returns 75% of the damage it does as health. Not a super noticeable thing, um, but definitely, especially if you're one on one in with somebody, you know, you're in a, a, a heads up battle out of lane or something. Um, it, it can really just make that little bit of difference to mean that you survive and they don't. Uh, level 16, here's my one kind of 
uh, situational pick. Manticore, I really love this talent. Every third basic attack deals an additional 5% damage of the enemy's maximum health. Great against tanks, um, especially if you're doing ranked or something. Um, the double tank meta is very... Oh, oh, almost lost the light. The double tank meta is really in right now. Um, and Vala is uh, great with the double tank and against the double tank. Um, just increases her auto attack damage. Uh, seething Hatred, basic attacks now grant two stacks of hatred, and the time it takes for the hatred to expire is increased by two seconds. Um, so it just makes it to where stacking hatreds that much easier. Um, and then level 20, I really like Farflight Quiver. Um, that extra range just kind of keeps you far enough away. Um, if you do have double tank or something like that, the Rancor is great. Increases your attack speed with your stacks of hatred. Um, just makes it to where now you're just churning out even more damage. Uh, but especially in quick match, something like that, where I might not have the most organized team or the best team comp, I like Far Flight Quiver. Um, so one of my things with Vala is, if she does have a great auto attack build, she even has a, a good multi-shot build, um, but her auto attacks are already great. They're already viable. Um, and so I really like it. going the Q build because that then adds a little bit of burst to her kit. Um, which I think, you know, it's filling in that weak spot for, her. um, you're trading off, you're trading off the sustained damage with her for health, uh, and burst damage, and that Q build is just bringing it a little bit back. Um, so let me try and fix my green screen here so you guys don't have to deal with that ugly corner. Um, Black Hearts Bay, today's map, Black Hearts Bay, one of my personal favorite maps. A, it's pirate themed, that's always great, um. So, the idea of this map, uh, let's go over our comp first. We have Varian, Stukov, Samuro, Jaina, and me on our side. Uh, great. I love having a support with Vala um, because she is so squishy, um, and Stukov's just amazing right now. Um, the Jaina and the Varian I also like a lot. Varian, um, especially if he goes Taunt, um, I can follow up with the Reign of Vengeance with his Taunt. Uh, and then Jaina, Jaina's going to slow people. Jane is going to root people, and I can follow up with those. Uh, on the enemy team, we have Chromie, Zuljin, Rhaegar, Leoric, and Stukov. So, right off the bat, I'm noticing they have two supports, uh, and we only have one. And their main, they have they have Zuljin, who's an auto-attacker like me, uh, and Chromie. Um, we do have a, a, a Stealthy, so that'll be good for the Chromie. Um, and the Leoric has a tank, which Leorics can be good. They can be bad. That's not the most insightful sentence I've ever said. Um, but Leoric is a very powerful character. Um, and he's one of those uh, 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 very hard to master. Very high skill um, floor and ceiling with that. Um, Blackheart's Bay. So the whole idea behind this is uh, anytime you take mercenary camps, there are also these little coin camps, I call them, um, you get these doubloons. You change in, uh, uh, you turn in a certain number of doubloons, it starts out 10 and goes 12 and goes up and up. Um, Blackheart like will actually her. fire uh, his cannons against uh, your enemy's base. Um, again, one of those where if you guys just, just focus on the objective, uh, you can definitely just wipe the whole map. Um, there will also be two chest that spawn here and here um i just have five coins so five, the idea is is four, right off the bat three, if you can get the two, one uh both chests at at the first Strikes go around that's going to be 10 coins which is your turning um it's a very fun map a uh, lot based on mercs and map control and i like those maps because i like to mark Go get this lane up here. Word is there's treasure on the docks. Be quick and grab it. 
there's the first objective. Um, so one thing you're going to see me doing with Vala a lot is what's called stutter stepping. And the way, there's multiple ways to do this. The way I do it is if you hit S on your keyboard when you're playing Heroes. Let's check in on this fight here. Okay, we're we'll in. Um, if you hit S on the keyboard, you will stop whatever you're doing, hence the S, and fire at the closest enemy to you. Um, the idea is you always kind of always want to be moving, especially against somebody like a Chromie. Um, and always relocating yourself. And with some heroes, it even cancels out their, their animation. So over a long period of time, you actually get more attacks out. You're going to notice here, once we get to level 4, my playstyle is going to change a lot. Once we get that quest, um, a lot of times I will fire that um, that arrow off just if I know I can I can hit somebody with it. Because I'm not even necessarily concerned with doing damage, I'm just concerned with getting those stacks. Uh, I'm, I'm not hugely happy with having these coins on me. Um, as Vala, I'm not the best person to be carrying them, just because I'm so dang squishy. There we go, that's one stack. I've got Stukov with me here right now. I'm going to go turn in. So, these little flags here are the doubloon camps. Your enemy has it out for you. <laughs> Swift and silent. Don't want to miss soak. Fire at will. Your fear betrays you. Depart. I found my enemy slain. Cease fire! They want more. They'll need to pay up first. See if we can get somebody to come down and help me with this camp. Deserved, my friends. And now I go turn. Choose a talent. I'm going to do that repeating arrow. So one of the things that I really like about Vala is um, later on, especially once we get that quest completed, we can take camps um, by ourselves pretty well, especially um, those siege camps, those little two-person um, siege camps. Show these landlubbers what we're made of! Rain of Vengeance. Right, I need to put more of my focus up top. Who 
can grab me booty first! <laughs> nice. A clever ploy. No mercy. Mm. That should teach them. As you wish. Well done. All right, go to the top. Will they push bot? Arrow. So again, I've talked about this in videos. It's very, very important to not miss out on um, soak or experience. Um, that. That's enough. We don't be working for free. And my team's a little head on XP, which is. Really good. map control um, one of the benefits of of getting those mercenary camps is it then locks your team it forces your team to take a certain action it forces your team to stop and defend the base oh had me to um so so when you get mercenary camps and they push down the lane they force the enemy team to respond they force them to stop what they're doing or at least take some person right which is a resource some person to go and respond to that so right then i was responding to that push and bottom um to those mercenaries and therefore my team was stuck taking a 4v5 fight um ideally 
they either I could have been with them, that might have been the right call, um, or B, uh, they would have chosen not to take that fight right then and waited until I could have gotten with them. Um, so I'm going to come in here. Grab up all this XP. A clever ploy. Choose a talent. We're gonna go with hatred stacks longer or faster and longer. Yes, I see. Keep it up. Your fist is sealed. Victory. My hunt continues. I can't spell. Looks like your foe beat you to it. Let this be a lesson to you. Our enemy has destroyed a foe. Well, good arm. No mercy. And we steal all these coins. Old Blackheart's got a gift for you! Ha <laughs> ha! Impressive. Swift and silent. Here go! A good kill there. No mercy for the Well then! Who's got the coin for me service? <laughs> And we push bot and try and get a key. Huh? They're all paid up? Bah, who cares? Let's get to the fun part! <laughs> yes, I see. What are you waiting for? Level 20. As you can see, I, I rely heavily. I'm going to do that Rancor. Um, I rely very heavily on that um, Hungry Narrow Vault, Hungry Narrow combo. Um, 
because that is my main mode of focus damage. Um, or burst damage, really, is the better term. How much left? We got 20 seconds left on that. A clever ploy. Oh. Ready to continue the hunt. Whew. Just barely dodged that. And that's that Rancor kicking in. Alright, they're gonna have a turn. Let's get this. Looks like your foe beat you to it. Let this be a lesson to you. We gotta go in and try and save our Samuro. Through here. Well then, who's got the coin for me services? <laughs> or not. Um, so one of the big things with, with heroes in general and with Vala is know your job. Um, and what I mean by that is um, something I'm really bad about, especially with a hero like Vala, is I want to be in the front, right, calling the shots. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, is that's not my job. I'm not the best at that. Um, I need to rely on Varian um, or even Samuro to, to call those shots. And to be the one saying, okay, now's when we're going to fight. Um, just because I can't be the first person that the enemy sees. Because I will die. An Let's show your enemies a jolly good time. Arg! Arg! What? It's fun to say. Alright. A clever Keep destroyed. Well done, That's enough! We don't be working for free! We need to see where our variant is. go win. Triple kill. Your 
GG. So, um, let's see how we did on damage. Awesome. Oh, a little bit under Zuljin. Um, great XP, great seed. Um, oh, shucks. Uh, so, Vala, again, I think she's just such an impactful character. Um, one of the top damages. Um, couldn't have done it without you. Couldn't have done it without supports. Um, one of the top damages, uh, sustained damage, and then her ability to then add burst with that Q build, um, is what I really like. Uh, also with the Q build, it does let you take camps, um, by yourself at high levels, but really lets you clear through them quickly. Um, as you saw with me and Varian, Varian, especially with that build, not the strongest, uh, uh not the most damaged, or what he built, he might have done Claws to Smash. Yeah, he did Colossus Smash. But again, not a heavy DPS uh, uh, build for him. Um, but the two of us, we were able to clear through that camp quickly. Um, so so the ability to take camps plus uh, uh, her, her sustained damage um, with her just basic auto attacks paired with that the the souped up Q, especially once you get the quest done. I think she's just a great hero. Um, she's one of those where she's pretty easy to pick up, uh, but very hard to, to master. A lot of little nuance to the way you use um, your abilities and to making sure you're not uh, sitting in uh, the middle of the fight. Um, stats, as you can see, the top hero damage of our team, also top siege damage of the game, and top XP as well. Um, we did 10 assists, 5 attacks, um, so over 50% kill participation, but we also had the top XP. We were definitely up the top, clearing those lanes. Um, as you can see, Blackheart's Bay, a lot about uh, covering lanes, getting that XP bonus, because it's one of the more snowballing maps, just because of the mechanic of you having uh, the, the, the doubloons on you, and then you losing them when you die. It can make it really snowbally. So it's very important to cover all the lanes um, and get those mercenaries. Um, again, my talents today, Monster Hunter at level 1 for that decreased mana um, and increased damage to minions and mercenaries and monsters. Um, also worked on the boss, helped really clear off that boss uh, quickly. Um, Puncturing Arrow at level 4, quest talent, uh, just increased the damage of that Q. Repeating Arrow made it to where whenever we vaulted, um, we got another Hungering Arrow right afterwards. Really just makes it to where you can really burst someone down. Level 10, Reign of Vengeance. You saw where I'd like to kind of combo off other people's um, stuns or roots, um, or even slows. Uh, just add CC to an already deadly kit. Um, Siphoning Arrow. 75% uh, of the damage that you deal with Hungering Arrow is healed back to you for health. It's the reason why I... I you know, one on one, where we both killed each other with that Zul Jin, um, but it just makes it to where she's a little more survivable. Um, level 16 Seething Hatred makes it to where you gain your stacks twice as fast and they last a little bit longer. Uh, and then level 20, I went with that Rancor. I really like that Rancor. I think, and I should have said this at the beginning, I think the, the Far Flight Quiver is really good when you're starting out because um, she's very focused on positioning very focused on positioning where am i in relation to inside the lane uh and i i could have covered that better i'll cover that again in another video um but where i am in the lane versus the minions or where i am within my team i want to be in the back firing forward firing into their team um once you get that handled down rancor is the way to go lets you just burn through bosses burn through heroes um burn through anything um, thanks for stopping by. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Um, if you liked it, make sure um, thumbs up on this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be trying to churn out more and more of these. Um, let me know any feedback. I've had some audio issues. I tried to show them up um, this time. Um, so let me know if it's better. Let me know if there's another hero you'd like to see. Throw it down in the comments. Um, I'd really appreciate it. And who knows, I may just uh, uh, do it on my next video. 
Uh, thanks, you guys, and as always, just stay positive and don't die.